I'm Dan, and this is my story. Well, part of it anyways. You see, I had this problem. I wanted to be normal. And so, I did what everyone did. I followed the script. And when I say script, I mean everything was scripted. Monday through Sunday, what I ate, how I showered, what I wore, and even when I left the house. Why hell? Sure, it wasn't perfect, but I had a life. This story, though, is about how I lost it. Hello, neighbor. Hello, neighbor. It's cooking, Dan. <laughs> No cooking for me, just a big bowl of cereal. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Catch you in a few pages. All right, see ya, Sam. So there I was, at an art museum of all places, trying to focus on the art, but failing miserably due to my fascination with a scrap of purple paper <laughs> I said, a uh, lovely art, isn't it? Oh, uh, y y yes, yes, very lovely. You know, I'm particularly fond of the pieces from the uh, late Baroque period. Speaking of 18th century art, do you know what the artist ate for breakfast? No. Uh, Rococo puffs. <laughs> very good. Rococo puffs. <laughs> yes. Speaking of 18th century art, where is it? Time to sit down. Oh! oh. You, you aren't... Uh, th this is my seat. Oh? Yeah, uh, I'm not supposed to be talking to you. People are gonna think I'm... Different? Yeah. Well, that's not so bad. You are, aren't you? I'm just gonna sit over here. So you're Dan. Uh, how did you know? Your script says so. Oh. It's not that I don't want to talk to you or anything. You're, you're just not in my script. I see. So you're off book? Yes, I am. How is it? Well, it's better than telling breakfast jokes all day. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose it is. Can I come sit by you? Uh, sure. Just until I find my spot again. Let me see. Well, I was supposed to sit in that seat at exactly 9.45. Then Sam would come over, and we'd start talking. Uh, I'd say something funny, and then we'd both laugh, and then the curator would come and kick us out. But now I'm talking to you, and Sam's over there monologuing. But I think I can fix it. Yeah. Can I see your script for a second? Uh, sure. I have this part memorized, so just be sure and give it back to me before I leave. Uh, it was nice meeting you. So my wife says, what do you mean you don't like Chinese food? Yeah, they should have just passed the ball. You know, the ball, uh, with the, hey, Sam, sh she's taking my script. Hey! So I say to her, it's not all Chinese food. It's just the food that you've been cooking. I, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to ask you both to leave. You're being far too boisterous. Who would do that? An idiot, that's who. Ugh. Ugh. What am I gonna do?
do. Lewis, I, uh, did you see someone at my door just now? I, I, I lost my script today, and, oh, I know what you're thinking, Dan losing his script, <laughs> but it's a really funny story, you see, and, hey, wait, wait, I, I just, was there anyone at my door? I need to know. I don't know what to do. don't know what to do. Yeah, I was in a pretty low place. Alone and without a script. I was ready for the day to end. However, the day had other plans. What's going on in here? Excuse me, sir. You need to check in first. Check in? <laughs> yes, check in. For the audition, we're recasting. Oh. I'd sure hate to be recast. What's your name? Uh, Dan. Dan? <laughs> Playing the part already, huh? No, 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 this is, this is my apartment. I, I didn't realize you held these auditions in other people's homes. <laughs> uh, uh, not that I mind. Uh, it's it's been, been a crazy day. Save the monologue for the audition, hon. Just between you and me, this apartment belonged to the nut who thought he was better off doing his own thing, so if I were you, I wouldn't go around saying this place is yours. Who knows what might happen to you? No, this is my apartment. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Now, do you have any previous experience? artist. Do you know what they ate for breakfast? Oh, this is getting ridiculous. Well, well, another audition. Great! Now you've done it. You've broken the spell. I almost had the part, but you just couldn't wait your turn. I'm not here to audition. I'm Dan. Improv. I like it. Yes, very nice. I'm Dan. The Dan! I'm the one you're trying to replace with, with all those people out there. With, with her. A woman. And I'm a man. You could at least get that right. Peter Pan is traditionally a female role. I'm not Peter Pan, I'm Dan. You can't replace me. Why not? What? Why not? What is special about you? Well? As I looked down, I noticed written on the back of my death sentence was a note. She had been at my house. I still had a chance, a chance to get my life back. I liked him. Yes, he was very good. Did anyone catch his name? Do you have it? Oh, it's so good to see you again, Dan. How are you? Do you have my script? Of course. But are you sure you want it back? You ruined my life, you know your life, Dan. Just your day. <laughs> Easy for you to say. I I've got nothing left. I'm literally being replaced. 
everything I've done, the name I've worked for, it, it's all being given away to, to someone else, like, like a part in a play. What did you do that was so great, Dan? What are you living for? You say that I ruined your life, but what were you doing with it? Doing with it? I, I, I was doing what everyone does. I, I had a home. I had a job. I was following the script. Yes, but isn't life so much more? You're a very strange person, you know. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry I yelled at you. I just thought that Things will go differently. Yeah, well, you're one to talk. This is not how I saw my day going at all. Yeah, well, that would be my fault. So, uh, what's your name? I, I never got a chance to ask earlier, and I'd kind of like to know. It's Summer. Well, Summer, I'm Dan. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> You're good at that. Oh, <laughs> at introducing myself? No, at making people smile. Oh. Well, who knew? It wasn't in my plan to take your script, you know. It just sort of happened. I thought about returning it. I even went to your apartment. But I just, I couldn't do it. Not without talking to you first. It's just I needed time. Time to think. Time to come up with the right words. I knew you would come back here eventually. And I work here so I knew I would see you and I would be ready. But... I came back too soon. Well... Yes. So... What was it you wanted to tell me? <laughs> this is on the back of my script. I have a bad habit of writing on the backs of things. <laughs> I've noticed. No, no, not, not at all. It, it's just a lot to think about. You like it, though? Yes, it, it's really good. Good. I'm glad you like it. Where are you going? Didn't you hear? The museum is closing for the night. Oh. Um, I think I'd like to stay here and read it one more time. Do you want the rest of your script back? Uh, no. I don't think I need it anymore. Good choice. I've enjoyed talking with you, Dan. I'll see you around. All right. Even now, I remember the words I read that night. Scribbled in blue marker on the back of my script was a poem. Short and simple. Yet, the truest words I had ever read. A manufactured world full of manufactured things, captured by the words of its manufactured cage, safe within the prison, comfy in its lair, trying to seem normal among their prisoners there, pretending to have freedom where no freedom can be found, covering up the longing with nothingness and sound. Shake off all the shackles, Step out of the cell, move into the sunlight, and there begin to dwell. Embrace the curse of inspiration and the longing of the soul. Marvel at the sunrise and the beauty of the dole. It's the ordinary world full of ordinary things that gives us hope of something more. Hope of the unseen.